Oh, that's a lot. Hey, neighbor. <laughs> pretty good, how are you? Good, I know, right? <laughs> Thank you for getting my, my packages. No problem. They're all here. All of it, right? <laughs> All of it. You're right. You, all of it. You don't want to know what I spent. Oh, I know what you spent. <laughs> Where you want it? Um, it's fine. We could okay. get it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I bought $1,200 worth of luxury nail polish from Hermes. I know, but I was really curious to see if luxury nail polish is actually worth it. And from my last video, you guys enjoy me trying out really expensive things for science. So let's open these up. All right, so I have several boxes because this was like a scavenger hunt to find all of these Hermes nail polishes. Let me tell you about it. So I thought I was just gonna be able to go to the Hermes website and put all of these in the carts and just check out and be like, boom, I got them. But I went to the website, put all of them in my cart, and as I was checking out, Hermes was like, <laughs> hold up. They kept blocking my purchase and I was like, oh my goodness. Ooh, okay. They come in a box like this. So I had to purchase these from several different stores. Oh, I kind of like this box. So when they were blocking me, I ordered some from Nordstrom's, from Saks, and from Selfridges, okay? Yes, your girl went to the UK to order some. Those stores didn't have all the colors, so I went back to Hermes and how do you open this? Okay, I put the colors that I couldn't find on the other websites from their website, I put it in the cart and they let me check out because the order was, you know, much smaller. Ooh, wait. <laughs> this is the Hermes box, and this is how they package the polishes. So yeah, that was crazy. I had to like shop all over the world to get these, so. <laughs> Hopefully they're worth it. Ooh. They wrap them with care. Okay, they wrap them up and they all come in these. How many I get? Okay, I got six from them. Ooh, <laughs> ooh, Hermes. Let's see, return policy. Okay, I think this is if. This is my receipt and if I wanna send them back. All right, so I'm just gonna unbox all of these and then we'll get to it. They're about $50 a piece. But if you can get them from the Hermes website, you'll only spend $45 on a bottle. So these two boxes are from Selfridges. For those who don't know, it's like a um, luxury department store. It's kind of like a Nordstrom's or Neiman Marcus, but for the UK. And I had to order some polishes from them because they had colors that the other stores didn't have. But because I was ordering overseas, I can only order three nail polishes at a time. So I had to make two separate orders, pay shipping for two separate orders, and these were $30 a piece to get these shipped here. It better be worth it. <laughs> okay, so Selfridges just had a box within a box. <laughs> so let's see. Selfridges and Co. Okay. Receipts and such. Ooh, they put theirs in a dust bag. Ooh, okay. You know, if I'm spending this much, make me feel special. Give me a dust bag. All right, so. Yeah, I was just grabbing all of the colors. Okay, so they all come in the box with the color names on them. I'm gonna keep these. I always need dust bags. Um, I have a lot of handbags and wallets and stuff, so <laughs> those will come in handy. All right, so the last box here is from Nordstrom's. Are you serious? They literally just <laughs> wrap them all up in paper. Well, this is gonna take a while. One. Oh my God, I'm gonna have to make a trash run with all these boxes and wrapping paper. 
So I got everything out of the boxes and that was like an Olympic sport, okay? <laughs> With so much packaging. But this is all of the polish that I was able to get my hands on from the Hermes collection. And it is, I think 26 colors. Yeah, 26 colors at a whopping $50 a bottle. What makes like luxury nail polish so expensive? Like, are we just paying for the name or is it really something good? I'm about to find out. <laughs> So this is what it, you know, the main over box looks like. Les mains Hermes. Okay, I <laughs> I can't speak French, so I don't know. <laughs> but um, yeah, so it tells you, you know, all of the ingredients and I guess how to say nail enamel in all these different languages. And then, um, you know, the color is on the box and then, you unbox it and you get the Hermes box. It looks like the polishes, kinda. Okay, yeah, we got this little slide out box. Ooh, okay. This is quite fancy. Ugh. And what I say, and this color is Rogue Exotic. <laughs> Everything is so fancy. Yeah, I'm blocking the packaging, okay? I can't I can't even lie, like, <laughs> I like the packaging. All right, so I do wanna swatch all of these and, um, you know, have some fun with all this. Let me go ahead and put some nails on first because this is what your girl's working with. So this is what my nails are looking like. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna be doing my right hand today. I had taken off my other nails. If y'all saw that fail, the nails had to go. But when I was soaking off the tiny gel polish from the Korea gels that I tried out, these don't soak off. Like, they don't soak off. <laughs> Everything else came off and this pink gel polish was still on and I'm like, uh. Is this like builder gel or something? So yeah, it it's not coming off with acetone. So I'm gonna have to file it off gently, of course. So yeah, that's what I'm just gonna try to take the rest of this down. But yeah, um, I guess they must file off their gel. Cause I put, I think this was like two, two coats of gel polish. And I was expecting it to just like come off like every other gel polish do. And uh, this stuff is not coming off with acetone. All right, so after filing off that gel polish, I'm just gonna go ahead and do some cuticle work. I have my cuticle clean bit. I think this one is from Kiara Sky. And I'm just going to just, you know, work around the cuticle area, getting up all that dry skin on the nail plates. So for tips, I'm gonna take it back old school. Y'all remember this. This used to be BU, but they turned it to Vivaz. But anyway, these are the tips that I used to use all the time. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back to these tips all picked out, and now we're gonna put them on. Using my Young Nails Brush On Gel Glue, and no, I haven't bought a new one yet. I need to do that. We're just gonna put a little bit on the, this, these don't have a like well to them, but you know, you put them, you put them where the well of the tip is <laughs> supposed to be. And we're just gonna go ahead and put these on. <laughs> you have to hold it on there. I'm gonna just hold it on here for about five seconds and give it a little blow. Still have to be a little careful with these just to make sure I don't glue them on crooked. At least, you know, when you're working with a very long nail tip and if it happens to be on a little crooked, you could just file one side and kinda, you know, for the most part, you can fix it. But with the shorter nail tips, you really don't have any room for error. <laughs> and I just like to give it a nice little pinch on the corners just to make sure those corners are laid down. All right, we got all of the nail tips on and I'm just gonna trim these down. I don't want them long, honestly. <laughs> so we're gonna go like that. 
and we're just gonna match them. Oh. <laughs> All right, so something like this. Okay, so I am gonna take my hand file and we're just gonna take the shine away from the nail tip. I'm using the 180 side, so it's not, you know, very aggressive. And then I'm also going to smooth in the nail. It's not that big of a difference, but I just want everything to be nice and smooth and just kind of blended into one another. All right, so I got my nails all shaped and got the base coat on and everything. And I'm gonna be using clear patty gel to do my nails today. So I am just going to lightly, just do a light layer of clear. You don't have to go too, too thick and too hard with this because the nails are short, you know, my short. <laughs> so they don't have to be thick at all. So I'm just patting this in place and ooh. I am loving how this is looking. This is gonna be a great base for some nail polish. And just making sure the coverage is even. This is why I love Patty Gel. <laughs> Not only because it's my baby, but because it is really easy to work with. I formulated this to be easy, okay? Cause I like easy. Now the clear is a tad bit stickier, but that's just the nature of clear. So, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. But I use alcohol as my slip solution and you don't need much. You just don't want the product to kind of stick to your brush and ruin your shape. But once you get everything nice and shaped, it's beautiful. All right, so we got all of the clear patty gel laid and you wanna make sure to wipe off the tacky layer before you start shaping and filing. So, cause uh, you will clog up your hand file <laughs> or your nail drill and we don't want that. So just make sure to wipe with alcohol. So since I have to file my nails anyway, I wanna go ahead and try out this new dust collector from Kiara Sky. They sent this over to me to try out and, oh, it's heavy. <laughs> that is my first critique is, oh, it's heavy. I'm not even sure if I could. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, the Valentino one is much lighter. Um, but, it, oh, Bruh. see, it's so heavy. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't rip the ribbon off of it. But anyway, <laughs> you just slide it out like this. And they always have cute little sayings on the box. This one is dust the two of us. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Ooh, oh wow, they got different colors. Uh, I've seen a few of the videos going around about how to use this, but you know, if you have any questions, read the instructions, like what I'm about to do because uh, this is a little different. Ooh. Oh, okay. This is metal. That's why it's heavy. And ooh, that's a strong magnet. Okay. So you got the dust collector, disposable filters. Ooh. And this this cute plug. Kiara Sky never disappoints with the packaging, okay? It's always top notch. Do y'all see this? <laughs> I thought this was like a compact or something, but no, this is actually the adapter for, you know, to plug it up. And I must say though, I know a lot of companies don't do this and it's, you know, it's fine, but I love when they put on the adapter what it's for, because if you're anything like me and have a lot of plugs, electronics, and you'd be like, does this go with this? I like when they put the names on there. Let me go ahead and get this together. So you plug, mm, okay, the plug goes right here. Why am I loving this purple cord way too much? <laughs> it's so pretty. This definitely stands out because the rest of my cords that are plugged up over here are just black and white. But this is purple. I don't know if y'all been seeing all of the promo for this, but 
apparently it is extremely strong and people being like sticking it to their walls like <laughs> that is how strong she sucks okay so i'm just gonna put one of these little disposable filters now that is what i like about this one so far is that um you don't have to have any of those specialized filters like you do with the valentino um you know that can get a little uh pricey <laughs> but with these it's just it's just kind of like cloth so it does have this extra filtration system in here i think that is pretty cool and you are just supposed to uh put this plate on here and then you put this over here like that just turn it on okay it's really not terribly loud. Oh, it goes up. Never mind. Okay, if you press the power button again, then it goes up a higher level. <laughs> and then it just shuts off like, Girl. and this is what the Valentino one sounds like. It's louder. Okay, you know. All right, but I just like to. We gonna we gonna turn it up. <laughs> I'm kind of shocked at how quiet it is. <laughs> all right, so I'm all shaped and filed, and I'm gonna go over this with my safety bit. So when you're done, you're just supposed to fold this up and you're good to go. For the most part, um, I like this. <laughs> I like it. It is definitely quieter than the Valentino one. Um, so uh, Miss Kiara may be getting a spot on the desk. I don't know. Ooh, so these turned out nice, cute, and natural looking. <laughs> Make sure to pick up y'all Patty Gel in clear or whatever color you want. You can shop the shelf down below. So let's get to these swatches. This is not gonna be in any particular order. I'm just curious, like why? Why is this $50? All right, so this color is called Rose Porcelain. So I'm, you know, pink. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the bougie in me just can't get over like this Hermes box. All right, so this is what the bottle looks like. It's glass and it has the metal H uh, emblem on top. And then you got the color, uh, you know, here. Okay, and you get 15 ml, so it's a good size. So let's go ahead and swatch this. Okay, so that is what the brush looks like. Kind of chunky and it kind of rounds on the end, which I guess would be good for getting close to your cuticles. Wow, this color is very sheer, but it does go on smooth, but it's so, it's so sheer. I mean, I'm guessing it's supposed to be like that. I'm gonna let this dry and then we'll go in with the second coat. So that first coat has dried. And as you guys can see, it's like a, a matte finish. Well, I won't say matte, but it ain't shiny. Color is still kind of very, very sheer. So let's go in with a second coat. Yeah, I just think this is just one of the Sorry y'all, the kids are home now. So yeah, I think this one is just like a very sheer, kind of just, you know, nice little sheer. <laughs> because uh, it's very, 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 very sheer. <laughs> you can barely even see the color once it's on. Like, well, I guess, okay. So this is kind of the look it's supposed to give. A nice little milky pink. All right, so the next one here, 
Okay, you gotta, gotta find out which way it, <laughs> it wants to come out. But this one is, all right, so we got this one and this is number 80, Gris Etope. It's like, you know, I guess their signature brown color that, you know, the Birkins come in. <laughs> okay, this one looks like it's gonna have more color. Ooh. Okay, see, I was a little skeptical. I was like, okay, this better not be like a cheap nail polish formula. It, it feels like it is a quality nail polish. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. Is it $50 worth? That is to be determined. <laughs> All right, so this is the first coat. Oh, okay, <laughs> I was gonna say that the smell wasn't overbearing, but it smells like nail polish. Okay, so this is the first coat. And I also wanted to kind of see how long it takes to dry. I'll let y'all know that before I put the second coat on. So it's been about three minutes and it's not fully dry, but you know, you can kind of touch it and it's fine to put the second coat on now. But yeah, this one does take a little a little minute <laughs> to dry. Keep that in mind. I say it probably it probably might take a whole 5 minutes to fully dry down. That is what I don't miss about nail polish. <laughs> I've been using gel polish for so long now and there is no wait time. So this is Grease Etope. So next we have, ooh, that's pretty. Ooh, this kind of reminds me of OPI's Root Beer Float. Like that used to be my color back in the day. <laughs> um, but this color is called a Metal Violet Manganese. That is a mouthful. Ooh, this is cute. I just can't get over how bougie these bottles are. Like, this is like metal. <laughs> and this part is too. Okay, so let's go ahead and swatch this one. Okay. I feel like this may need, I don't know. We'll see how it looks after two coats. It looks like it may need three. But yeah, okay, yeah. One coat is ultra sheer. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> because OPI Root Beer Float was like giving the first coat, okay? So yeah, we're just gonna let this dry. Yeah, this color is like when you tilt it in different lights, it looks different. From my angle, it looks like it's so sheer. <laughs> but then when I really like like on camera, it looks really, really good. So we just gonna do a little, okay. You know, it's just a swatch. It don't have to be perfect. Oh, I think my DoorDash order is here. I'm hungry. <laughs> Ooh, but that is a cute color. Okay. All right, we gonna take a quick break. I'm about to go eat. So I got me a salad from Buffalo Wild Wings. And Maya eating too, say hi. <laughs> <sighs> what you about to eat? I'm about to tear up some uh, garlic parmesan. Let me see what you got. Let me see. Uh, let, me, let me do that real reveal. <sighs> <laughs> all right. Sometimes they be a little dry, but they did all right this time. They did. Oh, you gotta, you gotta get uh, these. It's the real gold. <laughs> the Man, look at all these little ass. <laughs> They just oh. the tacos. Hey, the flavor fire though. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's eat. <laughs> what you saying? <laughs> All right, dinner was good. <laughs> okay, I'm moving along. Uh, okay, so this one is orange brulee. I like how this color palette seems to be like very mature. <laughs> I don't see any hot pinks. Where's the hot pinks? Ooh, all right. I'm not sure if that's coming up um, accurate, but it is like, it is like if orange and red had a baby. That is what this color is. Okay. 
I like this one. And this one has some good coverage. This is just one coat. Next, we got Rose Indian. This is cute. I, I was just talking about where's the pinks in the very next one. <laughs> Ooh. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Like I said before, like the formula is pretty good. I definitely think, you know, we're paying an upcharge for the Hermes <laughs> branding. I don't, this is, <laughs> I've never spent like $50 on regular nail polish, but she cute. Oh, this one looking a little, <laughs> like it's been sitting a while. <laughs> I need to get one of those polish shakers. Um, Cause when I do this, people be like, why are you rolling a bottle like that? This is um, how one of my nail techs, my very first nail tech when I was like, I think I was 13. And um, she was like, yeah, you wanna roll the bottles like this because if you shake them, sometimes the little silver balls inside can explode the bottle and stuff. So I've always been kind of paranoid about that. So that's why I shake my nail polish like this. And as you can see, it mixes it up. Okay, so this color is Yon John Imperial. I need some French lessons. <laughs> All right. <laughs> See, I have an issue with like yellows or, you know, dandelion colors because sometimes it can kind of look like jaundice. <laughs> But I think this one is really, it's really pretty. It doesn't look, it doesn't look like you're sick. This one has, you know, medium coverage, but you'll definitely need two coats of this. Oh, she cute. And this one is Rose Incarnate. I feel like I'm just butchering these names and <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> oh, but this is pretty. Okay, this is, I was like, okay. You, you really can't tell what the colors look like because, um, you know, they kind of show you on the website, but you never really know. And I'm like, where are these light, hot pink colors? This one is cute. I can definitely see myself wearing this one. Yes. Okay, so next we got this color and this is a Violet Byzantine. These names, y'all. <laughs> They are too much for me. I do like how this polish, it does seem to kind of like self level. Like when I think it's going on streaky, it's actually, you know, kind of smoothing itself out, if that makes sense. And this one is definitely a two coater as well. So this one is Orange Poppy. This one is really cute. I like this bright orange. This is, this is cute. Okay, let's see how it actually looks. <laughs> oh yeah. So this is kind of like that um, orange brulee, but it's kind of like a few shades brighter. Ooh, but yeah, I like this one. Next we got Rose Baltique. Um, this looks like another one of the nude type sheer colors. Yeah, y'all see like it's just the slightest color. And that's what I think these are for. But yeah, it gives it a nice, you know, sheer coverage. I guess you could think of it like if you're doing a French and you want like a sheer base, or if you're just one of those girlies who just want a sheer color, I'm sure you can build it up for it to look like this, but. She cute. I've been trying to keep everything neat and put it back in the box and it's like, it's not as simple as you think. And you know, they let you know that, you know, this is special. This is made with untreated paper from recycled fibers. But you know, at least they're saving money with packaging that I paid $50 for. All right. I don't know, for me, it's like <laughs> unboxing, basically these polishes is like so therapeutic for me. <laughs> oh, okay, I like this color too. This one is Rogue Pigment. 
a rouge. <laughs> rouge pigment. Ooh, this is my favorite Ashley type of red. I like, I like a blue base red. And this one, okay, maybe it's not. <laughs> I don't know, it might be. It's coming up pink to me though when I swatch it. Ooh, but that is pretty. I think once you put your second coat on, you're gonna get this full red color. Next we got a Rouge gr Grenade. <laughs> Grenade, <laughs> however they say it, that's that's the name. Okay, this is very similar to the last color, but this one is slightly more pink. Yeah, they're they're quite similar. <laughs> yeah, you can kind of barely tell the difference, but this one was the more redder one, and then this is the pinker one but they're pretty much the same. All right, so next we got blue and cray. I remember this one being one of the colors I was excited about and was kind of upset that I couldn't find it until I went to Selfridges and they had it. So your girl paid the tax and got it <laughs> for science. But this color is gorgeous. I would say it's a mix between like a blue and a violet. It's really kind of kind of giving me deep purple vibes, but it's blue, if that makes sense. I thought this was probably gonna be a roasting session on these polishes. Yes, they are very expensive, but they're they're okay. <laughs> now, will I recommend you go buy these just because? You know, you don't need this, no, no. There are better options, <laughs> way better options, way cheaper. But you know, if you got it, I mean, it's some, it's some decent polish. <laughs> All right, so next we got Rose Coquille. They do not make these names easy, I see. <laughs> I'ma just start saying the number. Number three. <laughs> and yeah, this one is gonna be another sheer one as well. Yeah, you're gonna have to build this one up if you want it to be like coverage. <laughs> Next, we got this one, Vert Egyptian, number 65. Ooh, that's a pretty color. Okay. <laughs> this whole review has backfired because for one, I don't wear regular nail polish because it takes entirely too long to dry. But these colors are making me reconsider. That is pretty. It's like a turquoise, but it's leaning more towards a green. Next we got this Rouge H. Looks like, um, you know, that ox blood color. Oh, but this is pretty. I don't know though. I feel like <laughs> this color isn't that special. Like there's plenty of nail polishes at your CVS or Walgreens that's probably this color. But you know, it is what it is. Next color is Rose Magenta. Now that was easy to say. <laughs> Cute. I do appreciate that the formula is consistent like throughout the whole swatches that I've been doing because you know, depending on the color, sometimes the formula is different. But since their line doesn't have any glitters or anything like that, they probably just use the same base and then just add color. <laughs> but this is cute. Here's the next color, Rose Tamise. Oh, this looks like it may be a nice, creamy, cute color. Okay, I like this one. Oh yeah, and this one has pretty decent coverage. You always wanna do two, but sometimes. <coughs> <coughs> oh, the nail polish fumes are starting to get to me. <laughs> um, But sometimes, you know, you are supposed to do two coats. Like that's how you get the, the true color payoff. But sometimes you can get away with one. This may be one of those colors. Ooh, so next we got this gorgeous red. Rouge Cascade. Y'all see it, number 64. This one is kind of like that other red that I liked. I forgot what color it was, but it's a little bit lighter. Little bit of streak. Well, I wouldn't say it's streaky. You just, you just need two coats to make it really work. Next we got Rouge Amazon. Amazon. <laughs> this one's 
cute too. A little deeper red than the previous one. I feel like with all of their colors, there's just like a slight variation. I feel like it's not even enough of a variation to make a color, but you know, it's not my company. <laughs> cute. Oh, this one's cute. Rose Horizon. Ooh, that's pretty. It's like a, a nice true coral color. And the formula on this one, it's nice. <laughs> it almost works like gel polish. I'm impressed. This is cute. I may, I may use this one. So next we got this brown, Brune Bistre, number 95. Mmm. You gonna have to build this one up. <laughs> this one. This one don't seem like it got enough pigment in it. I mean, I see what they try to do. They try to keep the formula nice and self-leveling and creamy. I don't know. This one just ain't hidden. See, it looks it looks black on camera a little bit. It's it's like a chocolate brown inside the bottle. No, maybe you need three coats of this. <laughs> yeah, I don't think this one's worth $50. And our last color is Vert Ecosis. <laughs> I ended up buying 26 ones. Um, I have the base and the top coat as well. But I ended up buying a color um, Rogue Exotique. I think I, I, I've already swatched that one. So I bought this one twice. I think I'm gonna be sending this one back. <laughs> All right, so this one is number 91. It looks very similar to the other one I did. I hope that wasn't a double purchase either. Oh, I see, okay. No, this one's different. <laughs> this one is like that turquoise teal color one, but it is just a pinch darker. But you see what I'm talking about? Like the shades are so close. But you know, I guess the typical person wouldn't be buying the whole line. <laughs> so, you know, if you don't want your tur your turquoise to be dark, see this one on the right is lighter. The left one is the one that I just painted. So as you can see, they're very similar, but slightly different. <laughs> I don't know y'all. I mean, the formula is good. The colors are, most of them are very pretty colors. But you know, this is this is for rich ladies. <laughs> $50 nail polish. So these are all of the colors. They cute. <laughs> it's definitely a mature type. You know, they don't they don't do like bright hot pink colors. And I guess I get it, you know, it's Hermes. Yeah, I gotta decide what colors I wanna use. All right, so I decided to do something with these colors. I don't know. I just thought the little swatches look good. Well, not this one. So first thing I wanna do is put on the base coat. So I got the top and the base coat, you know, just to see how the whole system works together. I still can't believe I dropped this much money on, on regular nail polish. This is ridiculous. But this is what the base coat looks like. So we're gonna use the Les Mains Hermes Base Email. <laughs> All right, and we already got our nails all smoothed out. Oh, this is different. Okay, so uh, this base is kind of like milky. Most bases are just clear. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe this will help with, um, I guess, like your sheer colors. I don't know. I'm just gonna use it and we gonna see. <laughs> Ooh. And once again, we have that nice creamy formula. I wasn't too sure if I was gonna like the big brush because sometimes the brushes be too chunky. And for like my pinky nail, I'll be having to use like half the brush, but they made this very easy to go on. Now that I'm using it, I'm like feeling the luxury experience. <laughs> no, but for real, like this is, this is so effortless. And uh, I kind of like this brush. 
I feel like they put thought and like engineering into this nail polish. It doesn't feel like they just slap their name on it and then, you know, give me $50. So, you know, the quality is really nice. Like I can't, I can't even front. I'll make sure I got enough on my brush. Y'all have to excuse me. It has been a really long time since I've used regular nail polish on my hands. I usually just use it on my toes and, uh, but this is nice. So smooth, so creamy. So yeah, as you can see, the base coat kind of gives you a very, very sheer coverage. So as we know, <laughs> nail polish takes a very long time to dry, so. Um, I'm just gonna chill out here for five minutes. Okay, so not quite five minutes, um, more like two and a half. I can touch them. It's not any like tackiness or anything. So I think the base probably dries a little quicker. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with this color and this one is Rose Coquille, number three. I'm gonna put this on my accent nails because I want, mm, I'm deciding which ones I want to be my accent nails. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go for the two middle fingers. I'm gonna apply this on my nail. And um, this is just going to be like a very sheer base because you know, with accent nails, you kind of see your nail bed and I want it to look like, you know. Wanna put a little foundation on my nails. <laughs> <laughs> One thing I do miss about regular nail polish is that when it dries, it's so thin. Gel polish bulk up on you very quickly and that's one thing I don't like about it. But it's like you give and take, right? Either you dry quick and you bulk up or you're thin, but you take all day to dry. <laughs> it's like, can we have both? So while that's drying, I'm gonna go in with this color. I was kind of excited about, about this little mustard kind of jaundice looking color. <laughs> if I don't like it, I'll take it off. But I want this to kind of be my main color. I don't know, should I? <laughs> should I use this? I feel like, I feel like I, I wanna try this one. I feel like I always use the same colors. <laughs> Trying to venture out here a little bit. Okay. It's not bad. It actually looks like mustard. You can, well, I mean, you just have to make sure you load the brush up with enough polish. And I'ma just go for it. We gonna paint this one as well. This color was the only one that came separated and I had to shake it. And it, it doesn't seem to be as smooth as the other ones. All right, and I'm gonna paint the thumb this color as well. I don't know. I think this one probably just needs to be shaken more often because once you kind of apply it and get it going, it's, you know, it's smooth. Ooh, so far, so good. To make things a little easier on me, I'm gonna untwist these caps. And I probably don't need to do that, but I'm working one-handed here. <laughs> okay. Get my brush ready here. Oh no. I just hit it. <laughs> Hopefully when it dries and I put my second coat on, you won't be able to see that. That's another thing I hate about regular nail polish is that it takes so long to dry that you're gonna nick your nails. It's like inevitable. Okay, so like back in the day, back in middle school, up until I finally took the plunge and learned how to do nails. <laughs> I used to do my nails with regular nail polish and I basically used to do the same nail design, kind of just, just kind of swirling the base colors. I wanna see if I can kind of like modernize it a little bit. But yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it exactly how I used to do it back in the day. <laughs> so nostalgic. But yeah, I basically just kinda swirl the colors and I got this, you know, technique from, like I said, my first nail tech. Her name was Donna. I've been trying to find her and I don't, <laughs> I haven't had luck, but she was such a sweetheart. We're gonna let this dry. All right, so while the two middle fingers are drying, I'll go back in with my second coat 
on the other nails. And I'm gonna try to be careful and not nick this one. Okay, doesn't look too bad with the second coat. So let me know something, y'all. Would y'all splurge and buy Hermes nail polish? Would you do it? <laughs> okay, next we're gonna go in with this turquoise. And I kind of just randomly put swoop. That's kind of big. <laughs> but y'all get it. The brushes are a little big for this. Oh, I used to be thinking I was doing something. And then we're gonna let this dry. And next we're gonna go in with Orange Poppy. I remember that name because it's pretty and it's easy to say. <laughs> All right, so we're just going to lightly the right here. And I let that dry a little bit. I'm gonna take a little bit of the blue just do like a line like that. <laughs> I swear, this is how I wore my nails all the time back in like the early 2000s. <laughs> this is what I knew how to do. But, you know, since vintage things are coming back around, this is cute, okay? <laughs> Like that. Ooh, she cute. And then you gotta be careful to clean your brushes immediately. <laughs> I just wanna keep them clean. I don't normally use regular nail polish, so. I normally add dots. Mm, I think we can have some orange dots. <laughs> oh my goodness. This stuff takes so long to dry. Oof. Back in the day when this happened to me, I would just try to kind of tap it with my finger and then do like another coat. Kind of just floating a little bit of more polish over it. And you pretty much got to do the whole nail because the streaks will show. And then hopefully, <laughs> when that dries and I don't mess it up, you won't be able to tell. I mean, you know, it'll be a little denty, but that's okay. I'm just gonna do the dots with the orange. And I just take, I used to take a toothpick or anything, but I got this one. This little manicure thing is perfect for this. Just gonna do some dots. Like so. And I think I want to modernize this a little bit and add some gold foil. And uh, I don't need much. I just, I just want to add a little bit of, you know, some to it. <laughs> okay, I think I need, I'm gonna take out the top coat. Please don't hit a nail. Okay. So this is what the top coat looks like. Black bottle, but we're just gonna do just a quick little layer so the gold pieces can stick to it. Okay, it's not, <laughs> it's not giving what it's supposed to give. And then I'ma just uh, put a little top coat on here too so I can pick up the gold pieces. All right, so yeah, I just wanna lay a little bit, you know, bougie it up a little bit. Ooh, okay. Quick smear. And just add a little bit here and there. Oh, okay. And then I'm gonna just give a quick little press down to make sure none of it's sticking up. Oh, she killed. Okay, so we're gonna just wait for all of this to dry. All right. So I think it's safe to put top coat on now. And you know, just for clarification, the base and the top coat was the same price as the polish. They were both $50. <laughs> and we're just gonna put this on. I'm gonna skip these two for now just to make sure that everything is dry. Once again, nice, easy to apply. 
I just can't get over how they charge him $50 for top coat. <laughs> My thumb is still a little bit tacky, so I'm gonna wait to do that one. When I do designs like this, I just try to be really careful. Well, for one, I try to make sure everything is dry. And then I pretty much like float the polish on top. Back in the day, I used to be impatient and not let my paint dry all the way. And so the black will always smear. It always smeared. But this one seems great. All the colors eventually dries, you know. You don't get any of that smearing. But I don't know if that has anything to do with the actual formulation of the nail polishes or if I was just impatient and didn't wait long enough. This is giving gel polish aesthetic though. Okay. All right, I think it'd be all right. So even though this does smell like nail polish, I was just sure that the fumes was just gonna kill me. <laughs> But uh, it wasn't bad. You know, it still, it still smell like nail polish, but it's definitely doable. I like this top coat though. It's thick. It kind of reminds me of the Setch Feet that some of y'all kind of hear me talk about. Ooh, okay. Just making sure I tighten all the bottles because these cannot dry out. <laughs> <laughs> they cannot, okay. All right, we are done. Let me just put a little bit of cuticle oil on. My hands have to look presentable. Cause she ashy. <laughs> so here is the finished look. I think these turned out really cute. My little retro nail design. A 19 year old Evie is smiling inside, okay? Because she used to wear her nails like this all the time. I think these turned out cute. I like the polish. I really thought this was gonna be like a roasting session, but I feel like for, you know, the brand you're buying, the prestige, like the bottles are nice, the formula is good. <laughs> Just, you know, you could, you get a nice little, little Hermes box, like. <laughs> You do an unboxing for your nail polish. Like, I know this isn't much, but I am a material girl, okay? <laughs> so this is like, this is nice. But I totally get it. This is expensive and it is totally a splurge. Like this is soft life aesthetic. <laughs> <laughs> so do you need these? No, we all buy things that other people think is stupid. So, you know, you may not think it's stupid to spend $50 on a nail polish. Some people buy nail polish, some people buy handbags, some people buy electronics. So, you know, we're all just here having fun. But after seeing these swatches, do you think you guys would try this out? I say go slowly. <laughs> You don't have to get them all. So are there any other nail products that you want me to try out from different brands? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoy videos like this, check out more right here. And I will talk to you in the next one. Peace.